Well, to tie in with the film, there's also an Avatar video game which has gone on sale this week. So far, though, it's had a rather mixed response from the critics. Our technology reporter Daniel Emery joins me now on E24. Daniel? Hello. Tell me all about this game. What well, are the experts saying? Well, the game is basically the spin-off from the movie. Well, unless most video games that kind of basically take the script of the movie and then create a carbon copy in the video game, the developers have basically taken the universe of Avatar, Pandora and the Navi and then created their own storyline. Um, the idea in principle is basically you either side with the humans or you side with the Navi and then depending on which track you take, it's either a first-person shooter where you run around with guns or you run around in an action-adventure. The idea was good, hasn't gone down well with the critics, they've generally panned it. We've heard Eurogamer said it was dull and forgettable, GameSpot said it transforms a magical universe into the mundane, uh, and Destructoid said it was a developed by numbers excuse for a video game, so it hasn't really gone down oh well. Oh my god. Well, James Cameron's actually put his name to this video game, hasn't he? How much input has he actually had? He did a lot of consulting. The game was developed by a French firm called Ubisoft, although the development was actually done in Montreal in Canada. Uh, James Cameron w basically gave them the tools, because the, the tools they used to make Make the actual film that Navi is pretty much a game engine so they handed that over to the games developer and said there you go go and make a game the BBC caught up with him and actually asked him what he thought about it we worked with uh, Ubisoft who, who uh, you know developed the game and the, the thinking there was that movie licensed games generally you know aren't very good because they're sort of an afterthought we didn't want it to be an afterthought we wanted it to be a parallel development so we were able to take our, all of our assets, characters, uh, rocks and mountains and vehicles and everything else and give it all to Ubisoft and that put them miles ahead. So anyway, I'm told, I haven't had a chance to play the finished game yet because I've been on the road here for the last couple of weeks. I'm told it's quite good. So dedicated to the game, he hasn't actually played it yet. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that he says he's been told it's quite good, maybe a bit of plausible mm. deniability given some of the reviews. Of course, there's been a lot of other Hollywood stars in the film, um, yeah. such as, uh, you know, we just Sigourney saw just Weaver. Sigourney Weaver, of course. Now, they, their likeness is in the, in the game, um, she looks like, but they didn't voice it, so actually their involvement was, was quite limited. Um, again, we, we spoke to Sigourney Weaver and caught up with her and actually asked her what she thought of the game as well. I think because this is a classic adventure tale with a big romance, there's, it just lends itself to, to a kind of computer game. Um, it's not like you're violent, you know, just shoot, shoot, shoot. It's more of an experience so that you could just sort of walk through Pandora. You don't even have to see another human being. You can just admire the, uh, the scenery. It's just a way of bringing that world home. So I, I don't think it's, um, I think it's very special to this project. I don't, I don't think it's going to make that more common. Now, I don't know which game Sigourney Weaver's been playing. She said the game <laughs> didn't have much shoot, shoot, shoot. The game that we played, that's pretty much all you do. Uh -huh. Shoot, shoot, and shoot again. Uh, the game itself, there's lots of missions and quests, but they very simply run to point A, point, run back again. You can um, see the game here. You can. I mean, visually and graphically, it is stunning. They, you know, they've really gone to town on that. I mean, you know, they were given the tools by James Cameron to do that. They seem it looks to focus. Great, doesn't it? It does look fantastic, but they focus so much on what it looks like that they've forgotten the core element of the game, which is to make it fun. Um, running up and down blind alleys and just repeatedly shooting things without any kind of challenge or achievement behind it gets a bit boring after a, a while. bit disappointing there. Well, Daniel, thanks for joining us there. The video game of Avatar. You're watching E24.